I am actually kind of disappointed that I had to mute the stream and I can't keep listening to that great remix. So, yeah, welcome once again, gamers, to Attract Mode. And I'm Okapi, as usual, and I'll be your host today. We'll be taking a tour of a different sort of haunted mansion than we saw the last time I hosted. But real quick before we get into that, a few passing reminders. Uh, we do have a rather inviting private community full of happy haunts. Speedrunners, casuals, alive, undead, doesn't matter to us. All women are welcome. And if you're not a woman, we're ever so grateful for your undying support. Type Discord in the chat with the exclamation point in front for details. And of course, Attract Mode, this program is always open for submissions. So if you have something a little more festive in mind for the annual appearance of the Sandy Claws, make sure to submit it over at the website, ladyarcaders.com. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump right into our showcase for today. We have Elite Spud uh, showing off Luigi's Mansion, and we're going to see some ghostly pals today. And then Piccola and myself will be helping out on comms. So without any further ado, take it away. Hello, hello. This is Luigi's Mansion. I'm Elite Spud. Welcome to the showcase. I'm joined here by Picol. Hi, it's me. I've never played the PAL version of this, but I have played the original American version because I'm American. Yeah, I started out playing this game as a, on the American version. I got somewhere in Area 4, probably the blackout, and got too scared, so I... Uh, I quit, and then I, a couple years later I picked it up again, got about the same distance, got too hard, quit, uh, then I finally beat it some years later, and now I speedrun it. But uh, this version is different than that version. Uh, this is the PAL version, which means we can select our language, uh, any of the well-known European languages. We're going to stick to English because there's some funny text that we like to point out. Um, some guys have a reputation in this area. And yeah, it changes the whole mansion, because if I load into this, talk to EGAD, we have the mansion and the hidden mansion, in American version and Japanese, the hidden mansion is not a whole lot of anything. Uh, in PAL though, it completely changes the game, they had multiple months to improve, and they went crazy with um, how much they did. So uh, I will count down and we can start officially. Three, two, one, go. Well, and if you've, if you've never seen the PAL version, immediately you're going to be struck by how dark it is. That is not uh, an error of the stream. It is actually pitch black. They made the mansion darker. So uh, I'm if you're not that everything is reversed. Yeah, everything is completely backwards. If you're familiar <laughs> with how stuff works, this is going to be completely different. And it's not just the orientation of the screen and the. Uh, darkness. They also made all of the spawns in the room for the ghosts different. So those guys that show up at the end of Area 3, actually they actually show up in Area 4. Uh, they're in Room 1 now. The big blue, I think they're blue bombers, what their official name is. So I this is pretty standard. The, the, the yeah, so we got an orange guy. Those are here normally. And then, oh, there's a pink guy now. And then I'm going to be trying to get all this money here. And whoa, there's a blue guy. So that's, no, that's, guy. <laughs> that's your first taste of pal. I've hey, played I these first... Easy enough. Oh dear. Uh, poison mushrooms. Poison mushrooms actually show up three times more likely in pal. So they uh, oh, no. can show up in very bad areas. I'm going to be trying to collect as much money as possible right now because uh, in order to get the A-rank mansion, which is the best thing you can get, oh, yeah. you need 150 million gold. It's more in Luigi's Mansion Pal. In uh, oh, the other no. versions, it's 100 million. I'm gonna go back and talk to Toad real quick. He's because... so rich. Oh yeah. But to compensate for that, there's actually more money in the Pal version than other versions because they change all of the speedy spirits and the uh, golden mice to drop diamonds when normally they don't. 
So I'm going to be trying to get all of them today as a personal challenge to myself. It should end up with a whole lot of money. Mario. If, I, if I do remember right, I believe some of those are actually like missable permanently in like the normal game. Yeah, I think if, uh, if certain ones show up and you fail to catch them, they're gone for good. Oh, there's another poison. There's mice in this room. They got me rats. almost at the mushroom. Dinky not, little rats. Not normally mice in this room. I have been practicing these first three rooms a couple over and over, so let's see if I can get some uh, a strat here. Two mushrooms? Two little mushrooms? Already? Nice triple. Let's go, triple. So when you in Luigi's Mansion, when you catch multiple ghosts at once, you get heart drops. Uh, I got a heart drop from all three of those guys because I caught them all at the same time. In PAL, you don't get heart drops really anywhere else. The only way you can heal yourself is by getting multiple ghosts at once, so it's m much more difficult to stay alive. Uh, damage is also doubled, by the way, because of course it is. I didn't even know you could get hearts that way if I just tried to find the drops. There's a speedy spirit in here, so this guy's going to drop a diamond for me. Here's some grabber ghosts. They're actually invisible because there's a mirror in this room. Normally they don't show up until much later. I love this screen though, it's so good. Here's my diamond. No, that scream chat, isn't it the best scream you've ever heard in your life? It's a very good scream, yeah. I love that they had these like normal ghosts for the first game and then for the second game they just brought new ghosts entirely and then gave up on these bad guys. The sound design, oh there's more poisons. We got three so far, I think. I think that's four actually. The sound design in this game is amazing. It's one of the most notable things. I kinda had a similar story to you where I played this as a kid and I got up to like I didn't get as far as you, I got up to like the first boss and I died like tons of times because I didn't know what I was doing. So I was a child. And then I gave up on the game and I sold it. And then I was like a few months or a year later, I was like, I wanna play this game again. So I bought it again and then I got up to the first boss again and then gave up again. And then I bought the game again and then eventually finally beat finally beat it. It's not an easy game. It's really easy to get lost in the uh in the later parts of the game too. And then eventually there's all the boos you have to get. Which just, like takes a long time to find. Oh yeah, the boos are the worst part. I'm going to be showing off a, uh, a very nice way to catch the boos that's going to make things a lot easier. So it's technically, good. I'm going to be fulfilling the 100% criteria for like a speedrun, which is getting the A rank in the mansion. But there's another more lucrative category called max percent, where you um, get literally every coin, dollar bill, gold bar, everything you can possibly get, you, you acquire it in one run. Uh, and money does not respawn in this game, so if you miss one, you have to reset. Um, you can make save points, so it's not the end of the world, but uh, I'm going to see how much I can get. That would seem so hard to do. There's actually two special two ghosts in this room. So that mouse is there. I don't even the mouse, but I guess because it's pal is different. Some mice you have to scan the cheese for, and then this guy, this guy is in the chair. Two more diamonds in here. Three diamonds already, let's go. We love diamonds. making a giant mess of coins. Here's our first portrait ghost. This is Neville. He's just gonna decide to yawn at some point. When he yawns, he shows his heart. We can start hitting him with the vacuum. He's not too hard. And every time you catch a portrait ghost in this game, they start dropping pearls. Pearls are another form of money. And the better you do, the more pearls you get. So if I get a ghost from 90 HP, or sorry, from 100 HP all the way down to 10, I'll get a big pearl. Don't have to catch them all in one go, but gotta get really close. I, I didn't know that eventually they start dropping poison mushrooms while you're trying to suck them up. Yeah, if you take too long. Um, that's not nearly as hard on Hidden Mansion, because on Hidden Mansion, Luigi's vacuum is actually twice as fast. So it's, if it seems like I'm sucking up ghosts pretty quickly, that's why. It's not uh, just because like, I know what I'm doing. It's a little bit of that, but it's also just the mode. 
Lydia here is going to be distracted by the open window we open the second. She's very vain, likes to brush her hair all day long, even in the afterlife. Just like me for real. I remember you I, have to like suck up both of these girls and then get the baby. Oh yeah, the baby is is the a lot of fun. So hard. At least as a child. So most of these ghosts have like a different pattern with how they move around, like sp some spin, some like go in a direction, then turn and go in another direction. Uh, if you can get them into the corner, it limits the angles they can get. So like I pulled Lydia and I, I backed myself into the corner so she can really only go left or down or right or down. Makes it a lot easier to catch pretty much everybody in the game. With a baby, it's like me. Oh yeah. Because I'm, I'm Lady Arcade's stream baby, it's me. Talking about brushing our hair earlier, the uh, I brushed my hair for probably 30 minutes getting ready for this because I just washed it. My hair's so thick. Yeah, the way that I tend to sleep, it gets tangled and knotted like every day. So, like that's like my wake up routine is just immediately start brush, brush, brush. So I'm gonna try to do a fancy speed running trick for this fight, it's it's one of the hardest things you can do in the game. Um, it's not a big deal if I don't get it, but it is really cool to see because big discovery last November, December, around that time, is that you can actually one cycle this ghost. We'd previously thought that nobody could do that. Even the Tass uh, couldn't do it because he forcibly breaks off after a certain point uh, and you just can't do damage anymore. You can get to about 10 before it happens, but if you do a frame-perfect input, it's actually double frame-perfect, you can trick the game into thinking you never he never broke you off. I have not seen very much, very many Luigi's Mansion speedruns, but I did hear about that when that got discovered. Yeah, that was kind of a big deal. And we actually just had another big discovery. It doesn't affect any, any category, but really one or two. This fight is different. The horses are big in PAL. They already seem big enough in American. Yeah, they're much bigger. And they go, like, in, like, patterns and such a straight. And then we can the suck up a big ball. There we go! Very Yo, nice. one cycle, let's go. Wow. <laughs> One cycle baby, I think his name is Chauncey. So I can yes, stop calling that's him baby Chauncey. Now that I remember that. So we're just not gonna see the other half of that fight. I haven't Let's practiced go. that in a month. That's like a year old discovery, apparently. We just gotta first try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I tried to do that in every other time I've featured this speedrun, like in a, ma in a marathon, a showcase, whatever, and I've never been able to do it. So that's the first one. Yo, let's go. First time for everything. And this is, what, a 50 FPS game since it's PAL? It's 60, actually. All right, well, um, so yeah, in PAL it would be 50. I think it actually runs slightly slower in PAL um, if you're running it on PAL hardware. But we're using uh, some homebrew stuff to force it into NTSC mode. So it's actually running at 60 FPS, and that messes with stuff. It's not just how fast it's running. Uh, it also messes with, like, cutscene speed because it loads a little faster. You'll see some music desync. This game's pretty darn laggy, and the funny thing about, um, about PAL, or about, dude, this game's pretty laggy, and the funny thing about the cutscenes is that they didn't fix the lag, they just slowed the music down to match the lag. That's such a strange choice. Mm -hmm. So we got, a, we got a silver portrait for Chauncey here because uh, I was not above 90 HP in the fight. That's how you get gold portraits in the boss ghosts. I thought it was always based on how well you did in the fight. Like Every other one is like that, just not the, the four bosses. You have to make sure you're going in with a lot of health and not get hit. That's kind of a weird criteria, but who am I to judge? I play rhythm games that are basically entirely weird criteria. If you're playing this for yourself, I'm not supposed to get that out. Oh look, there's a heart. We also have periods heart, let's go. For um, our separation between, like, sets of digits, because we're in a European version of the game instead of commas. Yeah. Speaking of the European version, I always found it really interesting how 
like the European releases of games back in this generation, they usually had that European extra difficult range as, quote, amends for the localization making the release take longer. And I always thought that was really funny. Gotta remember where I need to go. It's so dark and this hallway is mirrored. Um, lots more worse things spawn in this hallway now. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, oh no. That's the, Honestly, that's the as other someone way to who go. plays Xenoblade, I should be more used to British stuff, but I'm just not. Um, I, I did cool. notice that it, it was interesting that in the main area it said 1F one, one and 2F for fours. I would have thought that it would say Grand 4 and 1F for now and stuff. Is this how it works in England? Hmm. Well, it's a fancy yeah. building, so it could be a little different. So that was one room and I'm already at 68 health. It's a demonstration of how easy it is to die. It's yeah. so much. Yeah, again, somehow this extra hard arrange is immense for the localization taking too long. And if, if you've played the game before, this really honestly feels like a ROM hack. It's kind of like... Like Kaizo or Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, it's like an officially sanctioned ROM hack. So we yeah, have... Yeah, all, all the Nintendo rearranges that I've played have kind of felt like that. It's just like a little extra. I honestly feel like this is the Lost Levels, like, version of the game. It feels kind of like that. There are not these little flying green purple guys in the Oh no, they're not, they're not normally in here. I was like, I've never seen these guys before, and that's probably why. Normally the green ones are outside in the courtyard, and the pink ones... No, the pink ones are outside, and the green ones are in the pipe room later. Check for money. So these guys are a speedrunner's bane because they have a 50% chance to do something quickly and a 50% chance to not do it. I think I might have gotten it, but I was not standing on this circular pattern. I mean, it is 50-50 chance, but that's probably not too bad. Sometimes it feels like it's 20% in your favor. Come on, dudes. These are the dancers. They share a health pool. I guess this is like a free double suck. Yeah. yeah, they just considered as one portrait ghost. And the basic idea for sucking up ghosts, it, it kind of applies to literally everything, except for one exception I'll describe in a minute. Um, you just tap the, the control stick away every time they lose 10 HP. Um, it's 5 HP on the normal mansion. Never get to watch this cutscene, so I'll just... Uh, let it roll. There's a speedy spirit in here I want to get before anything bad happens, because once the room lights up, I cannot get the speedy spirits anymore. So if I want to get as many diamonds as I can, I need to make sure I, like, beeline it straight here. Wait, is this, like, like, Wind Waker HD or, like, try to Princess HD where they, like, change the locations of items and things? Uh, they actually did that in the 3DS move remake of this game. Uh, in PAL, everything's the same location, uh, just the ghosts that are in rooms are different. That's the main change. I, I don't remember the Speedy Spirit being there, but that's probably also because I haven't played this game in multiple years. So I thought they would have changed, like, locations and things. Yeah, in the 3DS remake, they actually changed the location of some key items, too. Um, so you don't have to do certain ghosts that were otherwise um, required. Like, you don't have to catch the twin brothers in the 3DS version, because the item they have is somewhere else. Did they also like add the... Luigi into the 3DS version? Because it didn't uh, come out after 3? We like the green guys, because you can push them. And you can, like, push them into each other and get doubles. The like green guys suck with their bananas. I hate them. Yeah, they can get out of control quickly. I think there's a room with like four of them at once later on. I still need to go play Dark Moon and Tree. I just still need to finish those. But I, I yeah. do know they changed the ghost types in those games. Like, they don't have these original ones anymore. Oh, I didn't show off the poster skip. That's the easiest trick in the game. I just completely forgot about it. I mean, you did get the the baby kill. Yeah, that's or I'm proud or whatever. Of that 
I guess I can't say kill because they're already dead as it goes. Yeah, they're just they're just in the vacuum. So these are the boos. These are the exception I mentioned earlier. They're caught in a different way, and if you've played this game before, you probably do not like catching boos. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure in at least in the American version, you only have to get like 40 out of 50 to finish the game. We need 45. Yeah, that's like still already getting all of them anyway, so there's no point to only get less than what is 50. Mm -hmm. There are some really, really annoying ones that have a reputation in my in my mind. Uh, Boomerang upstairs in particular is a real big pain in the other versions. He's actually not that bad in this one. There's There's a couple other ones that are worse. I remember the ones like in the attic areas where they just like rapidly go between all the rooms because they have such tight spaces. Yeah, Boomerang's one of those. Those with 300 HP, you cannot one cycle those, so they're a pain. So uh, it is a demonstration of how incredibly wild these boos are. The first one you find has 150 HP. Let me see if I can set this up. So I'm going to half pull that cloth off. I probably cannot have a chance at this. I didn't Somewhere. know you could half pull that. Hope he moved. Every room there's a fake and there's a real one. Oh, I have to pull it off now because he moved in there. I found the fake first. So he has 150 HP, and if I don't do anything special, like he's just gonna fly around the room, cause problems. Yeah, and the boos are a lot harder because they don't get like stuck onto your vacuum like the the portrait goes to. Yeah, you never, you never like hook, it's kind of like catching a fish, like you throw your line out on the normal ghost, you hook them, and once they're on the line, you're just doing damage. But the boos are never locked on to you. They have to be like actively in the beam. Yeah, so the speedrunning trick that I always tell everyone, if you want to play this game again, learn this, is you hold the vacuum out and you hold the left trigger too, and you hold both of them, the vacuum overrides that. And then you can just let go of the vacuum for like a brief moment, repress it, and when you do that, it forces the boo to cackle. And when they cackle, they stay in place. So I gotta find this guy again. That's so like if I the just... one speedrunning trick I know. And if oh, I just do that every one. 10 HP, yeah, it is. Completely keep them in the same location. All the boos sure become. Also... There's also a rule if the boos and they don't show up in rooms that you already cleared out that have lights on. Yeah, the boos only show up in lit rooms. Egad told us to go catch five boos. So we're going around in rooms we've already been in to catch them. There so this guy that caused problems is now super easy. And you can tell there's no buoys in this room because of the blue light. Yep, the radar get, got enabled as soon as Egad told us about the boos. Now it's flashing in this room, and if I look at something, I can tell if there's a boo in there. Sometimes it lies, uh, so there's definitely something in there, but I think there's something in here too. There we go. It's it's a little glitchy. It's not totally perfect, but the best what they had for GameCube. We got three already, let's go. I think there might be money in here, I don't know if I got it. There we go. So, uh, money in this game can choose not to spawn. It just, like, if you shake the piece of furniture, some of it doesn't always show up. Some of it is guaranteed, but, like, that one has a chance. I opened that wardrobe last time I was in here, uh, but it didn't show up for me. I tried it again, and it can't come out when the boo shows up, so the boo was in there, and I, shock I shook it again, and it showed up that time. Uh, I completely turned around in this game. <laughs> I don't want to go back like, up there yet. Can you, like, grind money that way? Or not, like, grind, but, like, make it... Or attempt to make it spawn once, and then if it doesn't spawn, leave, and then come back to make it spawn? Yeah, in the max percent category, you go through and, like, try to knock everything out of the, the chandeliers and everything over and over and over. So you can eventually get everything. There are, is a finite number of places money can be. Uh, but once it shows up, it's gone. You can't just like grind like one chair or anything. No. And there's a couple notorious spots where money will just fall out of bounds, and if you do that, it's not coming back, so you have to reset. Oh no. I didn't even think of that as a possibility. Yeah, well, I'll, we'll come up on the bucket 
sometime soon. And if it looks like I'm having no problem with these boos, it will get a lot worse. Even with even, the strategy, it will be a lot worse. Even on American, like, normal mansion, they get really hard. Yeah, the, there's boos in PAL that clip out of, out of the mansion entirely because they're going so fast. So they, like, increase their speed? Oh yeah, they're, they're all different health values. Some of them actually got less health uh, going this way. But all of them are pretty unanimously faster. So Egad told us to catch five boos and then he unlocked this door for us after we did. This is I think our fourth out of five save points that we can find. Or three out of four. Shells to one games had like save points in specific locations rather than just letting you save anywhere. Yeah, it actually contributes to the difficulty of this game. Difficulty in big quotations. I think I got everything in here. Oh no, there's something in the cabinet too. I didn't get it. I don't want to walk back down this hallway, so I'm just going to scan the mirror. I don't know if I've done that yet. When you scan mirrors in this game, you can warp out. I think I did that in the wardrobe room. You did it once. Mm -hmm. And that takes you back to the foyer every time. I used to just like mess around with that. Like I would just be in the foyer and just teleport the mirror back to the foyer just because I thought that the sound and the animation was cool. I kind of played the sound twice for some reason. Yep, the uh, I uh, revealed the the crystal ball at the same time that I scanned oh, the thing. I, th I thought it was a glitch with like the audio playing it twice when it not spawned. God, I'm so turned around. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine how confusing this would be as like playing this reversed. Yeah, I definitely had that experience when I played Master Quest for Ocarina of Time. It was just like everything is backwards and my brain hurt. So these grabber ghosts, the idea is you get grabbed intentionally and like kick them off in a certain direction. They do you get suck coins ones. out of you though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, which is a bad idea if you're trying to get literally every coin in the game. But if you want to not lose health, overall not a bad strategy. I swear I'm also not trying to say sucks intentionally as a pun. It just happens. So this is actually the only mirror in the game that you cannot scan to go back to the foyer. And the reason is they want you to do the puzzle in this room. Because I can't go out, this door has the spikes on it. But I will see if I can do a little trick to see if I can get out without doing that. Kung Boo! So if you catch a Boo and touch that, Egad's gonna call me, but I'm holding this. So I technically own this oh. now. And then I can save. It's just in your hand. Yep. And now I can quit. And we never have to see that room again. Yo, let's go. That reminds me of the um, the ice room with the key where you can just like run into the key and he slides off screen while you collect the key. And it's so good. Oh yeah, that, I love that key. So now I can pick up the fire and elemental ghosts. I do need to go back in this area, but I don't need to go back in that room. Let's so, light all the candles, get, a, get us a key. Here's some money. And this is what I like to call the most hectic part of the game. I'm going to be taking it a lot slower so it won't be so hectic. Because this whole section's on a cycle. I passed a, a floating candlestick earlier when I was walking to the washroom. It's your cue to say, hey, there's something back here. You should probably go look at that. And now I that I have fire... I just found that Luigi's hat is backwards, too. Yes, it is. Ow. It flips. Yeah, when you said everything, you weren't kidding. Yeah, it's actually, it's I think, just the controls are reversed left to right, and the video is reversed left to right, and the UI is just not... I think it's that's how they did it. If, Lui if Luigi is just green Mario, then I guess this is Mario green. I don't want to blow up. I blew up. <laughs> that animation is so long. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's another one. There's so many bats. There's so many bats and so many bombs. Bonk. So this guy's coming down the hallway, and in a speedrun, you can clear this room before he actually gets to where he's going. So he's going to go back down here. 
but I'm not going to get a chance to do that, so I'm just going to go set up in here. It's also the room where you can, like, glitch into the wall and, or in the ceiling and, like, glitch to the ends, like, really quickly. Uh, that's actually earlier on. When he sits down, sits on his candlestick and burns his butt. I and do that causes him to show his heart. Thing. I, I forget if it's this room or, like, the billiards room or, like, something else entirely. But I do, I do know there's like a one minute speed run of this that usually like glitched to go in the ceiling. Yeah, there was a brand new glitch found I think three days ago at this point where you can cut three minutes off of the seven minute speed run. So now it's a uh, five minute speed run. I think any percent Luigi's Mansion is now the shortest speed run of a GameCube game unless somebody else is knowledgeable enough to prove me wrong. Which I'm... <laughs> I just know about that one thing. Yeah, we used to have to catch Chauncey before we could go out of bounds because you can like get behind his chest as it's shot as it spawns. Oh, this room's gonna be scary. Um, there's lots of stuff. Oh, the, there's it's actually not that bad. I think it's shy guys now. Yeah. They don't even have eye holes on the masks. Nope. Extra creepy. There's a fourth turn in here, but I'm all turned around. So this is the baby strat for this room. You just, like, hit them all with the fire, and it's not a big deal. Normally, you make them show up one at a time and take it slow that way. If I'd have known where they were. Oh, no, I don't want to spawn that guy. It takes forever to we pick got, up gems. We got the triple gem. It's like the, the colors from Zelda. Mm-hmm. The three elemental stones. It takes forever to pick up gems in this game, and the other money doesn't respect the animation when you pick them up, so the, it just disappeared. So in this room, if you don't get all the other money before you get those gems, and you're trying to get everything, that also ruins the run. It seems so hard in a room like this where like there's just chests blocking the entire pass. This room actually has some of the most money of any room in the game. It's, it's very loaded. Such a good treasure room. There's also a blue ball stuck inside that chest. Mm -hmm. They love to vibrate in place. I think I got it all. And this room is the hidden room. Uh, I never press Z in normal gameplay or another gameplay, but uh, where's the map? Oh, it's, it's Y, that's it. Um, there's no door in and out of this place. Like, that room is um, completely shut off. And the only way you can get into th into there is from the mouse hole. Luigi's just turned into his own rat. When you're sucking up ghosts, like when you've done all the damage you can do and you start pulling them into the vacuum, you're actually invincible, and I'm probably going to use that a lot to dodge damage. So if it looks like I'm getting hit when, I, when I'm not getting hit when I should be, that's fine. I think that's also a thing on the American version, too. Mm -hmm. And in it, rooms with multiple... Oh, dear. That thing hunted me down. We get high-pitched Mario. It's funnier when he's really, really hurt, uh, because all of Luigi's voice lines for Mario change. Oh, yeah. And hearing him scream when he's tiny is hilarious. I love the Mario screams, that's so good. Oh, that's the bucket. This bucket has spawned five coins. Oh, they actually all fell into the into the right side that time. That is so rare. I just I've gotta spent... ask who's leaving all this money all over the place. Uh, I don't know. I think it's implied that it like, came with the mansion, but I don't know why they ever made it in the first in the first place. Because the mansion goes away and the money's real, so maybe the maybe King Boo's just funding something. It's like leaving it inside a bucket in a laundry room. That's not where I leave my money. <laughs> the man doesn't trust the bank, what can I say? You no, know fair. I don't either. I think I go this way. I'm looking up at the ceiling so that things do not spawn from the ceiling. If Luigi's looking at where a ghost spawns, they don't show up. They like to show up behind him and scare him. I remember this room. 
This is a lot of people's favorite room, I think, because Melody is just a cool ghost. She's implied to be like a heavy gamer, so she she like hits you with gamer tri uh, trivia. I think she also like the game makes her easier to collect because like she wants to be collected. Maybe so. Um, Clairvoya is the one that like actively moves towards you. It makes it actually harder for for you to do it quickly. That was the Super Mario Bros. Three uh, title theme, I believe. Isn't that one also yeah, RNG? RNG? I'm pretty sure that song that she plays is RNG. It is. You can get the uh, Super Mario Bros. One underwater theme or that one. Or was stuck inside that bot. Luigi also likes to, likes to lock on to things, um, pearls, gold bars, other ghosts, hearts especially, and uh, if you're trying to look at something and he's locked on to something, you kind of don't have a prayer for looking at the thing you want to look at. So if you're trying to aim your vacuum in a specific way, he prevents you a lot of the time. You at least already have 10 boos out of 50. Mm -hmm. I've been cleaning up everyone that I can, pretty much. I'm following a train here. Uh, in Luigi's Mansion, you pretty much get one key and unlock one door and you just keep going. Uh, there's a speedy spirit in this room that I need to pick Actually up. Actually a lot more of a linear game than you would think. There's another guy I also remember room. this ghost. This ghost, like... This one was always confusing to me for some reason. I just can never figure out how to get him. Yeah, this one, first optional portrait ghost in the game, so it's not a big deal if you never figure it out. But all the optional portrait ghosts give you a lot of money, so... It was quite worth it. Yeah, I remember having trouble with this one too when I was a kid. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to catch this, this guy. Whoopsie. Yeah, that last little bit of money. I think I pulled the... no, I almost pulled the tablecloth off. Here we go. Luigi is so good at just pulling the cloth and not disturbing anything else at the table. Yeah, so you have to hit the, uh, the lights to make him show up. But if you stand in the right position and just like aim at the, the flan or whatever he's eating, you can just get rid of it before these guys refill it and run away. Now we're going to do a little bit of back and forth because I want to see this golden mouse a lot. And this golden mouse has a 10% chance to spawn. There it is. You don't even have to spawn cheese. You don't have to spawn it from cheese. Some of them are random. We got the little thing. And it's a, it's specific it's rooms where they show up. Ow. What else do I need to do? I need to pick... That's the... Oopsie, there's a guy in there. I forgot about that. It's a guy. Look at him go. I'm just taking so, so many much rats. damage. Of course there would be rats in the kitchen. Yeah, this is not health compliant. They're I'm just, just thirsty little here. rats. Yeah, they're just, they're just friends. I don't see a room. So I went in there because he'll do a very, very long, like, attacking cycle. But after he does the first one, he's honestly not that bad. He only shoots five fireballs and then he gets tired. Um, so I have a lot less stuff to dodge when I do that. I had no idea you could hide behind that shelf. I think I just ran around the table like four times. Yeah, I think the idea in the speedrun is to hide behind there and make that speedy spirit spawn and catch him while you're dodging stuff. And diamonds, let's go. I hope Remy's not a ghost. So I came back in here because I want to catch the boo and save. I don't want to die. This room is a bit of a pain to find the boo in because there's so many different things you can shake. Is this the bad one? Oh yeah, this is the bad one. This is a, not normally a 150 HP ghost. There's also not very really, like much room for you to run around in this room because of the big table. Okay, he went in the hallway somewhere. I'm gonna have to chase him. Normally I do this later, but I don't want to die. So I want him to go up. I don't think he went up. He went back in the dining room. 
He could have gone in there. He could have also gone in the ballroom. He's not in here. You cannot catch booze in um, darkened rooms. Oh, there's the other golden mouse. Give me that. I affectionately refer to those as Angie because uh, I use a captioning software when I stream. And every time I say RNG, it thinks I say Angie. So all the ghosts oh. are now named Angie. All the mice. Shout out to Angie. We love Angie in this chat. <gasps> okay, we're just gonna go talk to Toad. How about that? We, we don't love the bombs, though. I might have to give up on that guy. Every time you beat an area, the booze will go back to where they uh, started. So that guy will be back in the um, in the dining room later. Does it also refill all the health? Or are they just like where they yes, were? It will. Oh, so no. I will have to get that guy from 150. But the plus is that this hallway is going to be lit up. I saved right. I, de I definitely remember to do that. I didn't just talk yeah, to Toad. You did save. I think I've done everything I need to do in here now. There's a lot of stuff to do in the kitchen. But if I get hit twice, I'm pretty much a goner. Let's get this thing out of the fridge here. We really need some heart drops here. And here's the craziness. Whoa, now. Are there any ghosts that are ever, like, Ouch! Okay, apparently it only really takes one minute. Good night. Yeah. That's why we save. What was the question about the elements? I didn't quite hear uh, it. Are there any ghosts that are ever, like, completely immune to them? Uh, immune to elements, no. There is ghosts. Like, that last one was only damageable by fire, so I actually do need to pick up fire that's in this room. Oh, he's back in here. That also resets booze. When you die. Not too much of an incentive to go catch that guy now. Okay, so this this dude's gone. Yeah, okay. I caught him already. Whoa. It's it so did dark. Back at 18, though. Kind of sucks. Ow. I promise I'm not trying to say sucks on purpose, chat. <laughs> it's just part of my vocabulary. Oh, I missed one. Yeah, we're going to die again. Ow. Even in the same corner, too. Good this night. is one of the hardest rooms in the game. I think I'm going to yeah, make two that. of them show up. You don't get a health refill when you die. Like, it's whatever you, it was when you saved. <laughs> it's because of the rats. The rats keep, like, stomping on your legs. Oh, no. The yeah, rats, like, infinite? Yeah, I think they are in that room. They might be finite, but... Let me try one more time, then I'll go hunt some hearts. I'm gonna try to get the ones on the left first. Because if you're far yes. enough away from, uh, oh. If you're far enough away from pots. where a ghost shows up, they don't show up. 28 better than 18. Let's go. Oh no. Okay, we're not dead. Oh. Now the other ones... I'm, I I'm just going to sit in the corner and use fire. Oh, burn them all, burn them all in the corner. There's my invincibility failing me out there. Now we got some hearts. Yo, there let's go. Third try. Third try kitchen. Oh, I need to pick up this first. Now we have the water medallion, which allows us to... See water elemental oh. ghosts. Egad's gonna tell us all about all about that. The whole save warp thing I did in the other room is mostly to skip this in a speed run because Egad loves to talk, and every time we can stop him from talking, it's better. Oh, not in there. No, oh, don't kill me with that. The poison. I love all the boo names though. They're so good. Yeah, all Somehow my they thought of the game. 50 different names to add Boo into. It's great that there's also puns in other languages, too. It's like such good attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I should probably let those, uh... God, it's dark in here. Like, I can't see anything. Except the plant. You gotta water the plant. 
I mean, to be fair, this is outside where there's no, like, lights or anything. Well, I'm not sure if I want to get intentionally bitten here. This dog will, uh, skip a cycle if you take intentional damage on the third bite. I lived. Mr. Bones? Mr. Bones? Mr. Bones? Shoutouts to Mr. Bones. The ride never ends. <laughs> there we go. Still haven't missed a pearl, that's good. Does the game ever, like, tell you oh. if you miss anything? I uh, know, you have to count all on your own, so if you, like... If you put two and two together, there's four pearls, four small pearls and four medium pearls for every large, then uh, you might figure it out. Normally this spawns like a 50 HP heart in other versions, no. Ten. That's just math. I'm so bad at math. Well, let's not die. Oh, but there's multiple Mr. Bones. There's so many Mr. Bones. I mean, we went through this, the ride never ends. Let them go, Chad. Oh, oh no, I'm Mr. getting Bone. boned. Don't get boned. Don't get boned by Mr. Bone. I cannot get a double. <laughs> I believe. We got four health. We can win. We can win against the Mr. Bones. You can also get random drops. I'm kind of hoping for one. I cannot leave this room after I uh, catch this last guy either. So I'm kind of invested. Goodness gracious. I love that they're they make the dry bones noise, but they don't they're not even dry bones at all. They have the same attack too. Kinda, yeah. They're like they sound actually a lot like actual human ghosts. They sound a lot like TTYD dry bones. I don't think I can leave this room. I think I've tried that before. Yeah, you cannot scan that again. Alright. So this is the uh, second area boss of the game, this is Bogmire. Bogmire is the easiest ghost to one cycle, like boss ghost to one cycle. Um, there's not much to it other than just be good, so if I don't mess up, I have a chance to not die here. It reminds me of the, that rock boss in Mario Galaxy where you have to like throw the booze at them. Oh yeah, that guy looks exactly like Bogmire for some reason. can't remember his name. He shows up in um, Galaxy 2 as well. So Bogmire always spawns in the same spot. He should be right to my left, I think, in Pal. You have to, like, coat him with the, with the fake ones. Nice. That's Yo, hard. one second. He ran right into the one wall. Cycle very 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 bosses. He ran right in the wall. That's very fortunate. I actually don't know what the gimmick in that fight is, because the PAL version changes all the boss fights. Um, Chauncey was slightly different because like the way he threw the balls was different, and um, the way the horses showed up, they were huge, and they show up in a different pattern, they like wiggle or something. The uh, I'm not sure how Bogmire has changed, because I've never failed to one-cycle him, I never have to interact with like the other half of the fight. There's red ghosts, like there's red shadows that show up in there, but I've never actually had to pick one up, so maybe they blow up? That's my guess. So maybe they like block your vacuum or like do damage to you some way? I don't know. I'm excited to show that my favorite two changes to the fights are um, the last two, so the next two bosses we see are going to be my favorites, especially Bulossus. Bulossus is fun. I've never even seen the power version, so I didn't. I don't know what any changes are. Okay, I have to remember I did not get that boo in the kit, the dining room. We'll have to go back there. But I have a reason to go back there later, so that'll be fine. Did it just like flip the entire room before you went into the? screen yeah it, it like they couldn't figure out how to roll the this section in reverse so they just flipped it back for some reason because luigi's hat is normal now if you when he spins you can see it for comparison there's five diamonds in the whole game in non-pal so we already have 11. we already have like more than like what is like over half of 
what is American. Oh yeah. Normally you want to see about like 50, like 44, 45 million in a speed run after area two. Sorry, after area three. And uh, we're already past that in area two. Play is all lit up now, let's go. Every time you beat an area, you get like a special key. I have a key, a replica key back here on my webcam actually, that's uh, pretty darn life size. Like, when Luigi holds up the key, it's pretty huge. This thing is massive. Bigger, close up. And, um, ow, oh, geez. The, uh, I've been trying to get other keys for the area keys, like made in the same style, like 3D printed, and I'm still working on that, but I'd love. Did you make that yourself, or is I did that like not. something you hired someone? Somebody on Etsy made that, so if you want one of your own, um, freely available, or not freely available, but, you know, you can go pay them. Paid available. I wish I had replicas of stuff from games. I would love to have the full set of keys, because I think this game just has such good visual design and sound design. I love the aesthetic of the ghosts and everything. I really wanted to play this game again. And apparently it is coming to Switch pretty soon, I think. They announced that recently. The, um, the Dark Moon is getting remastered. I don't know if yeah, they're... Uh, that, that's probably what it was. Yeah. I don't know if they're putting their 3DS remake. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for Dark Moon too because I missed the boat on that one and I do not believe in paying the current inflated retro prices, so... I never finish it. I still own my copy, I just never finish it. I loved Luigi's Mansion 3. It was a nice, cozy time. So yeah. I think there's something in here. Yeah. We normally never have to clear this room, so I'm kind of trying to remember where everything is. These guys are hard to spawn. I remember that much. Um, if you hit them with the water, they make the bombs go away. So it's helpful. I think there's one more somewhere. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, they have zero HP. It's actually much easier to hit them with an element. Oh, I guess that scared. makes sense, because I guess the water is putting out the fuse on the bomb. <laughs> there's the nice guy. Not a tremendous amount of money in this area, but it is nice to light it up. There's no boo in here. And now that we have water, we can go back and water all the plants in the mansion. Egad loves to tell us to water the plants, and I'm actually going to oblige him this time. What are your plants, Chad? If you have plants, water them. Or, you know, water yourself if you need to. Mm -hmm. Go drink me first, direction. little rats. Mm -hmm. Yes, please stay hydrated. Here's the cutscene where the, the music gets out of sync. So normally this, this room is very laggy, but the way I'm playing this game eliminates it. So the music is gonna speed up a whole ton. Oh, there's Red Mario. It's Red Luigi. Mario is in this game. Yeah, see, the, the Mario screams that Luigi does isn't just for fun, even though it is. He's actually screaming for Mario. Yeah, one might ask, why does Luigi scream after this point in the game? Because, you know, like, he's right there. He knows he's there. Why is he screaming for him? But, uh, I just think he, he just likes to hear his own voice. Luigi's gonna wear out his vocal cords by screaming so much. Whoa. <laughs> Doing some parkour up the tree. The, the weird slopes in this game are a little weird. Got that Titanfall movement tuck. <laughs> I love how his fists like gets incredibly big every time he does the fist pump. Oh yeah, classic so good. Nintendo. I remember this one. I remember this one being really annoying. This is where the most important key in the game, one might say, is located. Because if you played this game casually, you probably remember after this point in the game, it sucks to go upstairs. And the reason why is because there is a closed door. But if you run on this treadmill, you get a free key. And that key, I'll come back in here in a second. That key opens this door, which is the shortcut back to area two. I so nice that they put the, the door you need the key for, like a right outside where you get the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... I've seen so many people, especially because it's uh, October, Halloween month, so many people are playing this game right now and it always pains me to see them never find that key. 
Because that's that's one of the worst keys to never find. I only knew that 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 the key existed because of um, Chucky Conroy's old Luigi's Mansion Let's Play. So I, I remember that being a thing and I was like, oh, this is where you get it from. Yeah, finding that key and catching the booze is always my favorite two things to like tell people who want to play this game. Biff is actually quite difficult to catch. Um, different ghost, ghosts pull at different rates. He has a really strong pull and has a habit of getting away and dragging you. But didn't have too many problems with them with him today. I remember him always like punching the punching bags and like getting hit, like losing all my health and all my money. I think he also hurts extra. That makes sense. Regard. He does a lot of damage. And then uh, Hidden Mansion, when you take double, uh, I think it's like 40 or 30 or something. It's really, really big. Also, that, that Chucky Conway Let's Play that I mentioned is like probably over 10 years old now, and I know now I feel extremely old that I brought it up. Yeah, I'm thinking about stuff that I watched from Chugga, and it's like, oh, that was a whole decade ago. This game is 21, over 21, by the way, um, for anybody wanting to feel old. Like 2002 or something. I was two years old in 2002. Let's see, we've got a fire door up here that we normally need to extinguish with water, but one cool trick you can do, because it takes time for those doors to go uh, to go out, you can get here and shoot it through the floor with a water ball. And by the time I get I upstairs... I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could like reach up that high with the water and shoot it through the floor. Yeah, I think the hitbox for the fire is huge, so normally you'd go in here in any other like playthrough through the game, but if I make these guys show up... Where are they? There's a guy in here weak to fire, and I don't have fire right now. He spawned at the back, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. I think there's fire... here? Oh, that guy needs to stay away. Whoa! Let's just go this way. So, like, clearing this hallway is a little different. So many spiky bomb dudes. I think they're yes. called... Oh, what are they called? Sparks, I think. They're called friends. No, they, they want to be, but they're not. They explode too much. They are kind of cute, though. Forgetting that Speedy Spirit is something I always do. I had to remember that he was in there. Okay, Nana can be a pain. This was, balls. this was one of my least favorite rooms as a kid. There's so many ghosts that you have to like just shoot them in the face of the wall. Whoop, whoop, whoa, whoa. Come on. There we go. Nana has a deceptively strong pull, too. Like, losing Nana is definitely something that happens more often than you like. And shooting yeah, the balls into the wall. If you do fail the cycle, you do have to, like, redo their puzzle, I guess, to, like, make their heart show up again. No, for the, for the yarn balls, you actually don't have to do it again. But doing it in the first place is not easy. Uh, at least for other ones, I'm pretty sure you do have to make their heart show up again. Most of them, yeah. Stinky Limbooger. Limbooger. I always like to ask people what their favorite boo name is. Um, I have my favorite at the end of the game. But there's some there's some really good ones that are great puns. I wish I remembered any. It's probably been like like five years or something since I played this. Yeah, there's like boo boomerang, boo font, game and boo. I think there's there might be just be one that's called Boomer. Where am I going? Unless oh, I'm just thinking of the, the NPC in Xenoblitary that's just named Boomer. <laughs> you just know when they were coming up with the boo names that they just locked a bunch of dads from different countries in a room and told them to make up dad jokes until oh, yeah. they got 50 for each. Alright, this room is not easy. I have a lot of health though for it. Oh, we're doing a ritual chat. Seance We're time. summoning demons. Lots of green guys. Oh, there we See, go. See, we're summoning demons, just like I said, these are the most demon enemies in the game. 
Well, I've heard of the Green Demon from Mario 64, where the one-up chases you. These guys are not what I remember them looking like, though. This is what happens when Luigi uses a Luigi board. A Luigi board. <laughs> oh my god. That's something else the uh, the it's, captioning it's software confuses for me. Every time I say Luigi, it's like, no, you meant you meant the board. Oh, a Luigi is... board, a Luigi board, a Luigi, a Luigi, a Woji, whatever the video says. What is a leggy board? I think there's like three cycles in this normally, but there's not nearly this many ghosts. Like, there's more Mr. Bones! Yeah, the ride never ends! Here. Why are they in the here? The ride it's never like, ends! Ouch. <laughs> Stuff How like that bones, show up in. Bones inside the house? Like, they show up in such weird places. I think they're only in two or three rooms, normally. But why are they in here? Nintendo just said, no, nah, let's put them in there. Why not? They're like real humans, and they put them in this game for children. This room's really hard to read, there we go. Bone Swoggle? Oh, that guy oh, got away, he's so fast! Him. He's zooming. Please go to the left. Thank you. That one's fast in the other versions of the game too, but my goodness, I, I underestimated that one. Or this okay. rooms, the the one where you like make the path appear out of the the, the wall. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'll show you the map in a second, but. We go to this room, the stairs were like to our left, past this, and there's not a lot of space left in the mansion. Like, it's definitely not that far out. Like, we're going into another dimension at this point because there's all of this, there's a whole moon in here. Somehow we have the entire universe inside this one room. Oh, I missed. I thought I was spot on. Like, how, how are you meant to figure this out Not used as a to. child? I mean, the natural desire to shoot the moon with a vacuum cleaner, I feel like, should speak for itself. We're destroying the moon like Eggman did in that Kids one. Kids love thing. to blow stuff up. Luigi just turned into Eggman and the moon. You can't even see the moon, the game is so dark. Like, normally it's pretty darn bright, but... So yeah, Luigi explodes. I think a fake moon, but you know, it remains to be seen. We'll see mm. when the tides on Earth start affecting things. Mario's star is hidden inside for some reason. I don't know why Mario had a star and didn't use it. Like, I feel like that would help. Mario? When you're at risk of being captured. So that that room that just confirms that like real, real life stars also exist in Mario. So I'm gonna go save because this next room is a pain. Saw a glimpse of it in uh, my first visit in there. Uh, there's I think six ghosts in there, and I need one of them to stay alive while I look for mice. Because there's more golden mice in there. There's actually two golden mice in there, so I'm gonna try to roll one over and over so I can get it to show up. Just to having to like memorize how many ghosts there are per room. It's honestly pretty cool because it's it's kind of like a level. Okay, no mice. In uh, in any other game, you like you know pick the level at the level select and go in, but like each room is very self-contained in this game. So if you're having like, trouble with a room, you, like, learn that room. And it's cool that you can isolate your strategy like that. Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. There it is. I don't know where it shows up. Whoa, now. Okay, 
Here's the guy that's weak to fire. That's why I need my fire in here. I'm gonna go this way. Diamond's gonna go! No! No, diamond! I didn't realize I didn't get it. Oh no. Well, I, I think I'm just gonna go back here, because I did save. I want that diamond. I get that diamond. Get that money. Also gets me a little more health. 40 HP is better than whatever I was working with here because I got hit. Gotta spawn the little guy again. I need to go get fire again, too. Every time you save and quit, it wipes whatever element you had. There's the good scream. That's the rare one. No. That's the best one. Oh, we blew up again. I didn't even see that dude. Let's try a rat, maybe? Nope. Angie just needs, like, Angie's not always awake. And they are in a, in a dark room, so it makes sense. Don't sleep with the lights on, chat. Alright. Angie, nope. please. Mario. Where are you, Angie? Angie? Nope. I'm not sure if all the gold mice are Eripico. They were Angie because some of them aren't random. So they're not RNG. But I feel like the name is just too good. I have to come up with a second one. I love that they're all named Angie. Like, they're just friends of the one rat. We are all Angie on this blessed day. We got... Got yeah, most of the money, but at least we got the diamond. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to get the other mouse now. There's a cheese back here. There's a lot... Oh dear. Okay, that's gonna go away first. How much damage does the poison mushroom do? Probably 15 or 20. Oh, that one went that way. It's gonna fly away, man. Oh, I got it, okay. It's on the table again. They always go the same direction, so if I don't get in the right spot, it's hard to catch. They're so fast. Ow. I oh, dear, they I'm on ceiling like, now. They just moved around to whatever they wanted. Let me see if I can do some fancy stuff. Oh, I can't look up, up all the way because I'm hurt. Where is that guy? That's a thing. Yeah, Luigi has to, like... Grab it with both hands to look up when he's hurt. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, this is the, uh... This room is just chaos. Yeah, this is the room. This is what I remember. I forgot about it. I didn't know it was in two sections. Iframes here. Iframes. Saving guy. my life again. They're just trapping me in the corner. There we go, that's some health. Yo, let's go finally. 58. 68. Who jingles? Oh. Alright, we're safe. Let's go. We got the double rat, we got the boo, we got all that health. There is one more thing in here. Oh, it's not there. It's the other other side. There is a gem in here. Normally there are three red gems in here, but because Pal changes the game, uh, there's two diamonds instead of red gems. It's just more money, honestly. Yeah, red gems are worth one million and diamonds are worth two. There he goes talking again. Yeah, this is our last elemental medallion. This is the ice medallion. Ice is, I think, just the best element. I don't think there's any debate about it. And I do need ice for a portrait ghost coming up. Ice is nice. Can I make these go away with ice? No, it's just the water, huh? Also, 
also seem to be electric. From what I know of Pokemon, ice doesn't really work on electric. It's only on the okay. water. Luigi's Mansion, a Pokemon game confirmed. Like what we were talking about in backstage, every Pokemon move is just a variation of Dig. Yeah, no, no, it's true. The vacuum is just Dig, but backwards. Petunia drops pearls in the bathtub sometimes. Got them all. And we're done with the Area 2 hall. Go. Just use this mirror and go back. So shout us to the Game Boy Horror. We love Game Boy Horror. The GBH. Definitely my favorite retro handheld. That's definitely a, another thing. If you're into collectibles, some people on Etsy have made like replicas of the Game Boy Horror. Because this, this was back in the era where they like, were collect connecting the GB and the GameCube with the link cable stuff. It's actually modeled after a Game Boy Color, I think. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's... yeah that, that's the thing that was always curious to me, because it's clearly a GBC. But the Game Boy Advance was well alive and kicking at this point. Yeah, we had like Animal Crossing, I think, GameCube interaction between GBA and Link Cable. And like you could like a link Pokemon games on the GBA to GameCube and play them on your TV. Yeah, they did some really cool stuff with the Game Boy Advance Link Cable. And frankly, after how not great it did, I'm surprised they tried the Wii U, but that's a totally different discussion. Speaking of Link Cable hey. stuff, I know they released Kirby and the Amazing Mirror on Switch Online. And I don't know if it runs any better, but you know, trying to get multiplayer in that game before was a big headache. Yeah, we, did, we did just have a showcase of that uh, last week for Data Girl stuff, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, very fun Kirby game version. That, that was like my, my Kirby game that I grew up with, because I grew up with GBA. And, like, Secretly a Metroidvania. Whoopsie, I didn't check the box first. Come on, autopilot. You also said how it's a Game Boy Color, but like I always thought it was a GBA, like an actual GBA, because I didn't grow up with Color. Right? I grew up with like GBA SP, so I yeah. just thought it was a yeah, GBA yeah. SP. Yeah, I guess if you had only seen the SP version, then yeah. I could see that, yeah. But I'm, no. I'm, it took me multiple years to see the like original version of the Game Boy Advance, so I didn't even know it was like a rectangular one instead of, instead of like the flippy one. Now, the thing that's really cool is um, that little light at the top of the Game Boy Horror. Um, on the Game Boy Color, that's actually an IR blaster that a handful of games used for something. I don't think I actually owned any games that used it, but the Game Boy Color did have an IR blaster for some reason. That's cool. I didn't know that. Anybody call this before my time? I didn't even know anything about it. Oh, yeah, yeah right. every now and then I think about digging mine out, doing like some of the mods that are available for it now, but on the other hand, it's like I've owned that thing for almost 30 years, so why mess with perfection at this point? I don't know, it's, it's a difficult dilemma. I wish I remembered where my GBA was and my lick cable was. I remember where they used to be, and then stuff got moved around my house, and I, they're probably not here anymore. Yeah, that's where my original Game Boy went. I'm sure, like, wherever it is, it's completely intact, because Nintendium was indestructible, but... Oh yeah, it is. It's and the long charge long. lasts forever. I, my, I pulled out my GBA after probably over a decade and a half, and it just... it worked. First try. Yeah, when I found my color and storage before I moved north, it didn't turn on, but also the batteries were like leaking acid, so I think that's the battery's fault. So I, I forgot like three things I need to do, so it's, it's actually a chain of things here. <laughs> I meant to have water going up there, but I need water, but I also need to water this plant. So I get the water, water for that. It's also a very valuable flower because watering that plant gives us a golden diamond later. But now I've got this guy to catch too. Forgot about him. Ow. Bodacious, back at it again. Ow. 
Very nice. Let's try. Let's go. So you can maximum do about 150, 160 damage to a single boo before they leave because when you make them cackle in place and stay, they only do that 15 times. So 150 HP boos are okay. 200 and above, quite difficult. Gotta two cycle them usually. I'm scared for when we get to, to 200 health boos. There's actually not as many, I think, in, in PAL. They're just faster, so they're hard in a different way. And so shout out to the anteater room. I never knew what an anteater room was, so I always called it the anteater room. room. Wanted to get this gem. There's also another uh, plant in the uh, where Lydia was that I would like to get. And I need water for that. I feel like so much batch thing in this game if you want to like get everything. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of it, and it's, it gets worse and worse as the game goes on. I think area four is when a lot of people just kind of feel like the game gets, it loses the the tightness that it had at the start where everything is really close together and it feels like you're exploring instead of just walking back and back and back. And they make and you go like up and upstairs and downstairs a lot too. Like the same. Whoa, that guy's fast. He did say he was Turbo. Yeah, he, he did. I know at least when I played this casually like five years ago or whatever, I did at least get all 50 boos, but I didn't bother trying to get like so much money to like get A rank or anything. The plant is over here. The reason I came back to this hallway later is because uh, the key I got from Nana, catching Nana, opened the twins room with uh, Henry and Orville. So I just like do all this at the same time since I have to come back here anyway. I'm gonna try to do a fancy thing that I tried to do. This probably won't work anymore because I already spawned the boo. Yeah, come this here, is buddy. delicious. Well, we have a shot. I don't think I would ever want there to be a boo. So I sucked up the uh, the cloth off of the off the bed at the same time I caught the boo, uh, which means that Egad doesn't actually know about me catching that boo. He won't mm -hmm. call me. I'm free to Go. move around. That's Anytime. so good for social phone anxiety, not having <laughs> people call you. Oh yeah, if you just text it would be better, but he didn't put that in the Game Boy Horror, he can't do that. This was 2002, texting didn't exist yet. I think I'm good to go upstairs now. I got... no, I need the billiards room, that's right. So the other key we got upstairs in Petunia's room opens this one. Uh, there's a speedy spirit I need to get now. Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's on the opposite side. Yeah, my muscle memory is just, oh, it's in the left corner, but the left corner is far away. No, it's not. It's over here. And it's, everything is messed up. At least there's still always like 10 health. And this is Slim Bank Shot. He's one of the harder ghosts to catch in general, but he's also one of the harder to just make, get him to show his heart. I cannot grab the billiards ball. You have to hit him with three, and you can get him in one cycle before they all disappear. But it's I'm pretty not easy. sure shooting the ball off the table and using psychic powers to move it around is against the rules. Yeah, but it's a single player game. Like, who's gonna get you for cheating? I, I don't know. I mean, occasionally I get on YouTube and I watch a snooker tournaments, and they seem to take that pretty seriously. Mm. But I mean, that's snooker, not billiards. Maybe that's why so. he's a he's a ghost now. He he broke the rules too many times. I mean, that makes sense knowing what I know about pool sharks. Also, so interesting to me that they're set up to play nine ball. They don't even have the thing pool. that you like put the balls inside to like make them into the shape before you hit them. Well, that's where the psychic oh, powers come in. He just like makes them do that himself. Well, I mean, he's also playing nine ball, so. No, that's not even nine ball. That's just three balls. What variant is he playing, chat? I don't even know what I'm looking at. He's playing bad ball. The bad version of balls. Yeah, like, I'm from America. The only pool I know is drink a lot of Bud Light and play 8-ball. So, like, everything else is, like, news to me. The only pool I bigger. know is go swimming. 
Understandable. Alright, I hope you like loud noises. Because when lots of ghosts spawn in this game at the same time, it gets quite loud. This one isn't the worst trim, but uh, I think we're going to have a lot of simultaneous ghosts spawning in this next wave. And they're all the screamy ones. The, the big screamy boys. Let's see if I can... Oh no, that's not good. Let's see if I can manage... Is that loud? I was hoping to get a really big combo. Still one around here. Normally you're supposed to like get them to show up in the in the light, but I kind of know where they're gonna be. Kind of. I didn't get any of them. I think I lost more health in this room than I came in with. Goodness. Grab so many times. Oh yeah, this is Shambo. one of the worst booze in the game. <laughs> 200 HP, totally so well. I cannot one cycle this one. He's going outside. We're gonna have to go chase that one. Oh no, we just got a hand. Mario's hand. Oh no. I love that we get a, a glove from Mario, but we still saw him wearing two gloves. I mean, that's his spare glove. Only one. Just like the shoe. We got the shoe in um, the twins' room, too. He just keeps one of those around. I did get the, uh, oh, it's Z. I, I did get the shoe, right? I did. So we have all five of Mario's items. Which means we can finally go back to the fortune-telling room. And get, like, two or three minutes of... Unskippable text. Let's warm up. <laughs> so she's just going to tell us all about the stuff pretty much that we already know. Mario exists, which we know. Um, King Boo is, like, a problem, which we know. The Boos are in charge, which we know. And then the last piece of information she's going to drop on us, well, we don't know. Unless you've seen the end of this game, that is. Uh, is that, that's Bowser is in the game. Wait, Bowser's in a Mario game? What? I well, don't believe you. No one told totally me this. different. That sounds like a fabrication. Never, I never expected Bowser to be in a Mario game. Yeah, why would they do that? It's honestly a little insulting. I think that they couldn't even let King Boo stand on his own as a, like a villain. They had to put Bowser in here anyway. They did better in the other two games, though. Uh, King Boo is... It, that fight, final fight in Luigi's Mansion 3 is quite difficult. At least they let you play as King Boo in Mario Kart Wii. Mm-hmm. I remember, like, most of... A lot of Mario Tennis games have King Boo as well. King Boo and Petey Piranha featured in a lot of games. Love PD Piranha. They should put a boo in Smash like they played with Piranha Plant. There is Bowser. So, you, uh, you mentioned like the ghost that moves towards you intentionally and makes them hard to catch. Uh, this is that ghost. Clairvoya wants to be caught because she's like, you know, she served her time. She did her fortune telling. She's happy with where she is. She's ready to be incorporated into a painting or whatever, she, whatever happens. Um, so in order to catch her, most ghosts run away from you and you tap away to do damage, but because she moves towards you, she's not moving away, you can't tap away to do damage. So the strategy is actually hilarious. Um, when she's ready, she'll show her heart, and I'm just going to just twirl the crap out of the C-stick while holding a direction on the left stick. So we're just gonna, like, get her on there, and then go... Easy peasy. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Mario Party strats. strats, I understand. We're doing mash strats in this game? That's the optimal strategy, too. I love that. I love that you have to show it on camera, too, just for proof. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like, you know, you, somebody tells you a trick, and you're like, it's not that easy. No, it is that easy. You just, like, twirl the stick. Booigi! Booigi! We have Gooigi, Booigi, and, you know, the original. 
Booigi board. Booigi board. Okay, 23 is what I should have. I need ice. Uh, so I'm gonna get that in the tea room. We're gonna head up to the end of area three. There's no toads on the second floor and above, so... If we want to save, we're gonna have to do it, like, before we... Head up here. And, uh, catching booze is the only really reliable way to save in the middle of area three and four. Which is why I'm trying to catch them in certain moments. If we're lucky... No, Angie. There's only one chance to get that mouse to spawn. Uh, unless you just walk back in the, this hallway a million times. Didn't get lucky. Not gonna try for that a million times. Okay, there's a mouse in here. Need this. Oh, you spawn it so far away and it just goes towards. Mm -hmm. Get That's so mm -hmm. helpful to know that they just go and set patterns. Heart in here usually. Nope, not today. <laughs> not in PAL. Okay, this room is tough. This room implies that real animals exist in Mario and someone skinned them. This confirms oh, no. that taxidermy is real in Mario. That's the easy part. Glad I got some, got some health. Because now, the mouse is flying up in the air. The flying mouse? more hearts. Okay, this is the big one. Oh, that's so many. Oh, no. That's like five, six, or whatever. Okay, we took some damage, but we got most of them. That guy was immune uh, because he still had his protection from the water, like, on his heart. But we're all the way up to 72, so... Oh dear. That's like the most help we've had all game since the beginning. Oh yeah. There's a couple rooms, like if you can get the six or seven multi-catch, you can um, heal the full pretty much. And I didn't get all of them, but what seems like a hard room is actually the point where you need to heal in this, in this version. Little blue peep done. Okay, we're at the end of Area 3, uh, and you're like, wait a minute, we only have 24 boos. How are you going to catch 26 more boos before in just, like, one area? This mansion's not that big, right? Uh, turns out, it's not that way because I'm confused. This is Pal, it's on the right. There are 15 boos right here. And they're all part of a boss fight. You get 15 kind of for free, so there's not that many boos left in the game. I love this boss so much. We so actually good. have to hear the music. In Japanese, the music in this game is like, it never plays. It just, it's glitchy. So hearing the music in this part is weird. Uh, this is definitely not 15 boos in a trench coat. They go by Bulosis. And uh, if you've never seen this fight in PAL, get ready. Because if you're wondering how it's going to change, we're gonna jump Wait, on the vacuum. Hold on, hold on. What? You're just zooming. We're zooming. You. What? I'm so confused. And wait for it if we can get a good angle. Oh, that was not good. We are gonna have to do multiple cycles, I think. Come on. Is there one more? Oh. Oh wow, we're almost done. Easy. All 15. Very nice. The Done sound the did not sound good, but it was good. Them. Yep. That is that is yep. the other thing I like to tell people how to do, um, is uh, how to kill Bulosis quickly. Is you uh, you step back and you just shoot a, shoot an ice ball. Got a little less time to mess around with the driving around, but uh, one cycle key, uh, Bulosis. I didn't know that was a thing you could do with the driving around. That's the only point in the game when uh, when you get to do that, and it controls... You're so fast. 
it, it's like you're like on a real ice mechanic in Luigi's Mansion 4. I am. I've always. I keep saying it, hoping that somebody in the community will like hear it and think it's a good idea. But if somebody could make a ROM hack, it doesn't have to be PAL. Just any any version of the game. A ROM hack where you can ride that vacuum around in the mansion normally would make my day. I'm convinced. So let's do it. I would play so I'll much of it, that because please. it's so fun to control. I, I need Luigi riding a vacuum in my life. I have no idea why they like why they chose to do that for that fight and never use it again. Of all things, I think that's hinted at in uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga when Egad shows up. He like rides the vacuum at points. Bring it back in Luigi's Mansion 4. Make that game real and then do it. And honestly, put Egad in more games. He's not in enough games. He's such a good character. Mario. Yeah, he plays an integral part in uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I played that he game so many has years not ago. Been, he's not been in a lot. Mario. Bring him back. Seeing him move with, like, the quality of animation, I think I need ice for this. Oh, I need to go water the plant. That's what I need to do. Mario. But seeing and... how, like, seeing his high-quality animations in Luigi Mansion 3 is a little bit unsettling, because he, he moves funny. Hmm. love how much his nose jiggles. Got that oh, great nose jiggle yeah. physics. Oh, Luigi's. Yeah, the, the, the animations and the entire Luigi's Mansion series are just like so charming. Mm -hmm. Like even by Nintendo standards, like this trilogy is above and beyond what they normally do. I believe this game was before they brought the the ghost dog, the Polter Puppet, whatever it is. Yeah, Polter Puppet. Yeah, that was Dark Moon. Polterpup actually shows up in the uh, 3DS remake of this game as like your extra life should. mechanic. Did they also bring in Gooigi into the 3DS version? I think so. I think you can do co-op with Gooigi. Before that was before Luigi's Mansion 3 came out too, if I recall. So it was kind of a hint that this character is going to exist. Alrighty, I need water going up here because we're going to water a whole lot of plants. Just we're, like a uh, true lesbian. Mario. Hmm. And of course, that's a good reminder, chat. Hydration check. Time to drink, you thirsty little rats. I've got my Arizona sweet tea mm -hmm. open on my desk. I am all set. Mm -hmm. Some, oh, so there's a lot of doors in this hallway, especially. There's there's a bunch in the game. Um, a lot of them are fake, and if you open them, you take damage. I've been trying very hard not to open a fake door. You can at least see where fake doors are if you look at the map and you don't see a door mm. icon. The other way you can do it is um, vacuuming them and they don't shake if they're fake. That's like in Zelda where you can tell if a wall is vulnerable by hitting it with your sword. Oh. It makes a different sound. Oh yeah, this is the only red diamond in the game that you can actually like interact with. Looks fancy. Multiple it's, colored diamonds. It's uh, worth as much as a coin though. It's completely worthless. That's weird. A costume jewelry. The only other one in the game is uh, in King Boo's crown actually, so you'll get another one at the very end of the game, but that's the minimum amount of money you can ever get because you need to pick that one up. And it's worth exactly 500,000, which is what a coin is worth. Like How is implied. Luigi even, like, sticking all this money in his pockets? He has big pockets. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's hammer space. Yeah, he's, he's got overalls. There's so many pockets. They're like cargo pants. This one. But like for real though, like the amount of money that you've picked up already and we're not even done, 
Like, surely the money laying around alone is, like, a net profit on this mansion so far. Uh -huh. He's going to build his own mansion at the end, and if we do really good, he'll build a huge one. It's going to be the richest man ever. Oh, I didn't uh, approach I mean, this from the right angle. That's, that's really the way to do real estate investment. Just buy a place that has money hidden everywhere, and then just go build your own place. So I'm going to do a little bit of weird stuff here. This is the blackout. I need to really make sure I don't go in a fake door here. I'm just going to check. Okay, it's right there. I never get to do this in English. You don't have to come in here, but this is how you get your hint for what to do. Is this the room where, like, there's the weird, like, thing where, like, people thought Luigi was, like, hanging himself? Yeah, that was the glitch just with how... Oh, there it was. <laughs> it's the glitch with how um, the shadows work in this game, because they're based on where the camera is. Because, like, people saw that and thought Luigi was, like, doing that. For some reason, it's like, no, yeah, it's It's shadows. honestly really creepy, but... Uh, just a glitch. I think they fixed that in the 3DS version, too, because there's better shading um, on the DS, the 3DS. So you don't have to come in here. Um, Egad's just telling us about El Gremli, and you get to fight a unique wave of ghosts that I've never actually seen, I think, when you go in here. And he uh, tells us that we have to go back in a room with mirrors, which is the worst hint in the world, by the way. My frames. Oh, I don't want to see that. I'm pretty sure during this whole blackout section, it actually like, allows you to go back and get any ice or speed spirits you missed. Yep, you can. Because all the rooms are dark and they Oh, I'm gonna drop again. that. So I don't get hit. There's also unique speedy spirits that you can only get during the blackout, so that's my plan is to go back and get those. Okay, we can finally get out of here. So the reason that the hint, you know, a room with mirrors is the worst hint in the game, there's a lot of mirrors in this game. The hint in the 3DS version, when they remade it, is refined a bit more to be a uh, room with mirrors and clothes. And there's only one of those rooms in the game. But uh, your first idea is you hear a room with mirrors. There's a room literally called the mirror room. I'll just go back there. That, that, uh, that mirror is on the wall you can't see, so if you don't know about it, you'll probably end up walking all the way back. But the mirror room doesn't have anything in it. There's nothing important in the mirror room. Yeah, the way you're describing it, it sounds like we're supposed to go to the wardrobe room. Mm hmm But before I do that, I'm gonna go get me some unique... Oh, I didn't mean to get hit there. I'm gonna get me some unique speedy spirits. Gonna have to clear up this room first. Extra diamonds. It does make it harder to like see when you clear out a room because there's no lights to come on. Yeah, and you you clear a room and like there's no more ghosts in here, but the lights don't come on because the power is literally out. Normally there's not a uh, speedy spirit in there, but in the blackout. 21, 9 I actually missed a speedy spirit. I completely forgot about one, so I'm actually going to miss a diamond in this run. I mean, you're in the blackout. Can she go back and get it? No, there is a. There's the one in um, in the cellar. Sorry, not the cellar. The breaker room before the blackout you can get, but I have failed to go in there yet. So I'm gonna have to get the other three and just call it a day. There's one in the bench in the breaker room, but that's only pre-blackout. I need to go to the hidden room, which is this way. I honestly don't know how you're supposed to like figure all this stuff out, like at the hidden things. Yeah, I think it's... Like without a guide? A big... Yeah, I think, uh, I think they wanted you to buy it. Mm-hmm, and exploration. There's a lot of stuff in the hidden games. They're just like, how the... Oh no, that's a... Ghost week to fire? Let's go back out here. That's a party room right there. There's actually a, 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 a candle in that room. I'm gonna see if I can get the fire in that room. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Okay, we got hit. There was only 10 damage because I think I bumped the guy. Now we're fine. Rusty strat. Just gonna do a barbecue here. Ow. Okay. 
these guys don't bonk me, I can scan yeah, the mouse little holes. flying guys count for giving you hearts if you suck them up with like multiple ghosts? No, they don't. They're just there to annoy you. It is nice that the blue ones are so slow because I can always line them up pretty much. Okay, I think he's here. Two, let's go chat. There's one more. I think the hidden room is the hardest to get to. There's also another mirror in here. On the wall you can't see. Mario. Did know about that one, but I didn't know about the other one that you did. Mm, the one in the safari room is actually really important because we need to warp back downstairs once or twice. That one's really helpful. And there's one more in the music bench in here. I hope there's nothing immune to fire. This actually isn't too different from the way this room normally is. There's just so many things in this room you can get stuck on. I think I'm clear. At least the piano doesn't like come alive and try to eat you. Oh yeah, that's yeah, Super Mario nightmare. 64 flashbacks. I wonder if people who who uh, played 64 first found this piano and they immediately thought, "Oh, it's a scary game. I, I, I'm gonna get scared here. They're gonna it's gonna jump out at me." I think there's a mirror in here. Whoa. Oh, there's guys in here. Of course, there's guys in here. There's always guys. There's guys everywhere. Okay, that's all the unique speedy spirits I can get in the blackout. I'll show off the one I missed when I get into the breaker room, because you do have to go there now. Mario. You have to go in there. If I turn correctly, I won't make anything spawn, because I'll keep looking at the position. Didn't do it there. about any of these guys and here is Grimly. This is Uncle Grimly. He's random. He can just show his heart when he wants to. So sometimes we wait 30 seconds. But he was kind of nice today. Go oh, Uncle Grimly. So he likes clothes and mirrors. So he's in here. Once again, Egad's hit is horrible. We went to at least three rooms with mirrors in them and uh, he wasn't there. It's also a glitchy uh, trying to scan this mirror sometimes doesn't work because they don't want you to scan Grimley's heart and like look at what he uh, what his weakness is and accidentally scan the mirror behind him oh not this way okay, down to the breaker room yeah, seeing like how his vacuum just morphs at times from a flashlight straight into something else is pretty funny. There's money in this uh, light fixture. Well, I, today. I love the dark moon where they give you the thing that like lets you suck things out of paintings to like make them real. Mm -hmm. whatever, like the, whatever that thing is called. It's like the rainbow beam or something. The gay flashlight. So normally the speedy spirit is in here, but it's not not right now. He left. Too fast. Okay, we're out of the blackout. Now, in any other version, I would try to catch this boo in one cycle, uh, but it's actually not that hard in this version. He's really, really fast, but he only has 50 HP, if I remember. Oh, it's only 100. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pal area four booze for you. They're really really fast. Mario. Got him off the vacuum for half a second and he was gone. Speedy spirit in here. This room can get a little chaotic. I love that eight bit energy sprite when you forget a diamond. Oh yeah, on the Game Boy Horror. Oh, that's so good. 
It looks like the updated sprites that they put in the All Stars thing. The collection. I think you're right. I never actually played that, but I have seen sprites from it. Yeah, no, it's very similar to the, uh, at least in terms of the color palette, the uh, Super Mario World version of the Luigi Square. Nice triple. Oh, let's go. Didn't actually need the health that time. Oh yeah. And Imagine we being at 100 health on the power version. Very unlikely that I get this guy on one cycle, but it's possible. This is one of the laggiest rooms in the game, but the, uh, the way I'm playing this game, it, it isn't really a problem. Nice, that one's not that fast. Very good. Forty out of fifty already. We can go finish the American version. Sure can. Or we would be able to if we uh, could actually access the final bit. Because you do need the, the key as well. So here is the long walk that you have to do so many times at the end of the game. I'm going the wrong way. Just PAL version things. Don't think I need a specific element, but I do need more of an element. I'm gonna get fire. I think fire is the one I need. No specific. I love that Luigi like whistles the theme song of the game. He hums it when he's in a dark room. There's like there's not a lot of music in this game. It See the issue that I'm having with the theme right now is I consume a lot of Pika spray content, so all I can think about right now is Pokemon softbox. I, I was once in a piano class in like high school and I once tried to learn the Luigi's Mansion game for piano. It did not go very well, but I tried. Alright, we're back in here. There's a whole lot of nonsense in here. I need ice! I forgot! Alright, we're going back. <laughs> We're running it back, chat. I did not- I didn't think there was, a uh, those guys in there. Apparently you need ice. Mario! Luigi either has a vacuum, a hose, or a flame for her. Thanks, chat. True. Okay, the ice is just right down. No, it's not. It's all the way down here. Goodness. So yeah, this this uh, door with the X on it is uh, one we'll be visiting soon. You cannot get in there through this way. It is the sealed room. But there is a... I love that you have fire powers and you can't just burn down the wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? It's, it's magic wood. Yeah, I feel like doing arson on the mansion would have nipped this entire problem in the bud. Well, maybe not the Mario thing, but like everything else going on. Okay, we're prepared this time. So I probably will not be able to one cycle all of the booze up here. I can't remember if there's... I think some of them have too much HP, but even if they didn't, they're they're so fast. You're going to see just how crazy it gets. That's not where the other guy is. Oh, he just disappeared. The room. All these guys with zero uh, health, it's just much easier to uh, hit them with the element and actually try to suck them up. Mm -hmm. 
My nickname for uh, the bowling ghosts is Lebowski. I think I'm gonna come back and get this guy because I want to make sure all the rooms are lit up. So this boo's just gonna stay in here for a bit. I if there's money in here. There is. He just gets to rest. Huh? As a ghost should. Oh, I remember this boss. Oh, this is the one that uh, made Kid Me quit the game. Mm. This one's hard if you don't know what you're doing. This is the triple boss. Huh? Well, the, the strat is to get him over here in the corner, and it's not that bad. Because, like I said at the start, if you can get ghosts like with your back against the wall... Oh, I actually dropped him. Maybe I can get a double here. That would be fancy. There we go. Can I get all the pearls, though? Got one. Got two. Got hit. I think I got all the pearls. Did you get that mushroom? We're safe. The uh, blue one is the one that drops the pearls, so even though I dropped that first guy, totally fine. Gonna wait on that boot, too. Yeah, that one was hard for me when I played this casually a few years ago. But like, as a, as a kid, I never even got this far, because I could never beat the baby. I want to save, so I'm going to catch this boo. I don't want to die up here. I, I think the roof might be the hardest room in the game, so... Mario. This is the, uh, I think, the second fastest boo in the game, too, so... I might lose him. Ice is helpful for catching boos, because it makes them stay put easier. I never even but yeah, he's gone. Yeah. That's that's an example of how fast. This is the one that clips out of bounds, I think, if you uh, let him run away. We are in the attic, so this is like the area where they just constantly go between the hallway and the rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the English version, the one in that room and the one in this room have 300 HP. But in PAL... 200, so... This is Boomerang. This oh, is the one I don't boomerang. like. He's trying um, to get away so hard. So I'm gonna let him go to the right and just like... Ow. He can go chill in the other room. He, he might come back in here, but I'd like to use him, him to save. I think I saved uh, off of the first one. I hope I did. I think I need fire up here. So there's fire source... here. And then there's these two shy guys, and then it gets wild. The shy guys can't wing out on the roof. Somehow didn't get hit by the lightning at all when that happened. Oh no. Oh my god. He's getting bullied. Now I see why this room sucks. Yo, five and one, let's go. There we go. Look at all these hearts. I kind of needed that. It's like every variety of ghosts up here, pretty much. In other versions, catching the bowling ghosts and like the ghosts that have zero HP always drop a heart. They're their main way of getting HP without looking for hearts in furniture. But in PAL, of course, they don't drop anything. It's supposed to be hard. Mario. At least there's not a boo up here. We'll be I guess seeing there's this not really thing. anything to hide in the in up here. So we'll be outside. seeing this part of the game again. Uh, we have to do. We have to come back up here for one, but we also will see this is used as an arena for the final fight. Or if I Bowser for once, the King. first ever time you fight Bowser in a Mario game. King Boozer. Boozer. 
the loser, the loser. So that key we got goes in here. I think. Ouch. Gotta be careful if you're not tapping the right like orientation of on these statues, they'll hit you. A bunch of these guys in here. And some more of these. Uh, it's this like one, this room is annoying too because of all these suits of armor here. You just get stuck on them. Yeah, dying to the armor is actually not that hard. You know, like you when you're trying to get that boo in here, you're just getting stuck on everything. And it gets away from you so easily. There's one more somewhere. I have lost track of what, what I haven't and haven't bonked on. I think you have to tap some of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this boo is pretty darn fast too, but we might bump into Boomerang because he did come in here. Ah. Some of these boos will charge you, which I might be able to exploit. Yeah, there we go. Turn your back to a boo, they will charge and make it right in front of you. Just juke them out. It's a good strat, I never thought to do that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for every boo. And another one? This Thunder boo! Fast. Look at them go! Yeah, he's gonna disappear. Goodbye. Now he's out in the tiny hallway, and he's going to immediately come back in. See? Yeah, again, so I hit the boos up here. Again, you cannot catch boos in dark hallways or dark rooms, so have to get him back in here to get to work. He almost escaped again. We're working our way through here. Even my favorite portrait ghost in the game right here. This is Jarvis. He likes jars. If he shows up, there he is. And he calls you Boyo, which is just like, I love it. I did beat this game, um, the Japanese version at least. I beat it blindfolded. And this was the, one of the rooms I did not expect me to give him problems. I wasn't ready for it. Because you have to guess where he's gonna be. Or just like pre-spray all the ice. And if you can't arrange yourself correctly, like you're just too far forward, too far back, you're turning the wrong way. Oh, I messed up. That's what happens when you mess up. Apparently I didn't do all seven. I thought I was fine. I saw that a lot. Doing it blindfolded. Jarvis, there he is. I was a little too preoccupied with getting money. So is, are his spots like random every time? Yeah. He'll show up in one of these four, but which one and how fast it happens is different every time. I think if you don't do it fast enough, he might not even show up a seventh time. That might have been what happened to me, because I was taking too long. This is another one of our optional portrait ghosts. Uh, we do want to catch all the booze, though, so we do have to clear this room. I think I got them all. He has a really weird pull, so let's hopefully not get owned by a pot here. Sometimes he'll, he'll break off in weird ways. Look at all these pearls. I missed one. Where's the, where is it? There it is. It's one of the five normal diamonds. It's not in a speedy spirit or anything. I think you normally get all the diamonds from uh, portrait ghosts, optional portrait ghosts. No. I can't remember how fast this one is. Tambourine. Not that bad. I don't think I'm gonna one cycle though. I need to go down. Thank you. 
Now, I don't think this one is one of the ones that charges, so I'm gonna have to try to catch this one through the suits of armor. At least most of the time, it's pretty easy to tell which room they go into when they leave. Yeah, it's those long when they get in the hallway and go like in uh, area two and they go off the screen. They can go in really bad spots and you can't tell where. So we're done with the attic, actually. That was not not nearly as bad as it can be because these two over here didn't give us too many problems, but we got everything we needed up here. Back up to the roof. We we'll never left this time to talking about uh, festive stuff and Santa Claus. We are going to like ho 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 our way into the sealed room through the chimney. Luigi is the true spirit of Christmas. Uh, this is the part where it gets really, really loud because I think there's 10 ghosts in here that all spawn at the same time. So uh, if you're, if you don't want your ears to blow up, if you're wearing headphones, watch out. Here's a speedy spirit in here I need first. We did not get lucky with the RNG mouse either. There is a, uh, an ANG that can spawn when you enter this room and based on how long it took me to get up here, you can probably imagine that right, respawning that mouse sucks. You have to walk all the way back downstairs because there's no other way out of this room than a mirror warp. There's no good way to get in and out of this room. All right, here comes the big noise. Three, two, one. Uh, I was not expecting it to be that loud. My ears. Yeah. This game is like not, there's no compression or anything on sounds when there's a bunch of stuff at once, so it just clips the audio. As someone who plays Xenoblade and has like tons of British people screaming in your ears during combat, I should be used to loud noises. But I was honestly not expecting that. This room's pretty shiny. There's actually not too much money in here. There's like small amounts everywhere, but mostly this, the reason you come in here is for the key. This treasure room has less money than the smaller one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's kind of a letdown. I think most of this stuff, everything that's not in the chest is also random. I think I've missed, I've gotten every single thing to spawn. Um, if you're trying to get literally everything, you have to come back in this room a million times. It takes forever. I spawned everything, actually. That's crazy. Let's go. Every single Got thing that's random in this room. Got that perfect RNG. The only thing we didn't get was the mouse. The randomness in this in this playthrough is pretty pretty wild. Honestly, unbelievable. Having having done get all the money before. Max percent, that's the only way out of this room is scanning this. Alright, let's talk to Toad. Save the game, all that stuff is in the bank now. We're over a thousand coins and bills. And we're ready for the basement, which is, I think, this way? No, it's not, it's this way. I can't remember. I think it's this way? <laughs> Okay. They had to reverse everything on me. They should have also reversed the HUD, so put like the Game Boy Horror on the left and the help on the right. Read it backwards too. Okay. Then I need the pipe room first, which is the one over here. This is another one of the hardest rooms in the game. On PAL, it's just... It's, it's off the rails on PAL. I just want to hit these guys with ice. I'm trying to freeze that uh, green river, too. Here's the, here's the nonsense. Ah, I got hit too fast. Oh boy. There's so much going on. There's like no space in here at all. Uh huh, and the, and the blue guy's attack covers so much area. 
Oh, those are big hearts, actually. Those are worth 20. Big heart? Is that the first time you've seen a big heart? Yeah, I don't know why they spawned here. Maybe because I was getting really hurt. I died in there at least five or six times uh, the first time I played this. This room was no joke. Man, we've only died twice this whole time. Let's say we're Here's Buffon. See if I can one, one cycle Buffon. This this boo is one of the only ones that didn't change. Didn't one cycle, but uh, despite being 300 HP, is the slow. Oh my god, slowest boo in the game. And then he took the worst route. Where's the door? More please. You can uh, you can bounce that guy back and forth on the walls in this room to uh, uh, continually do damage without making him cackle, and that allows you to uh, do 300 damage in one cycle. But I'm gonna have to go back and get him in the breaker room now. The, the breaker boo is in here because that one did get away. I love there's only like two spots in here to hide. I think there's three. There is uh, the bucket, the barrel, and the box here. Oh, and he's gone. Zero HP. <laughs> I, I love when they leave with zero HP. So I'm it's gonna wait. Not annoying. I'm gonna wait a second so that guy has a chance to hide. Because if he if he doesn't hide, he's gonna go somewhere else. Doesn't take too long, but I'm just trying to be safe. I think we're good now. All right. Oh, this is was... the room where you can slide off screen with the key. Uh -huh. I was hoping to get a save before this, um, but the icicles in this room do 50 damage. This is oh, also the hardest that... portrait. 50 for pal. Yep. They probably only do like 10 or 20 in America. But I think they also do, like, freeze you completely. Okay, one cycle him. That guy is really hard to one cycle. Can we, can we get the slide? I want to get the slide. Oh yeah, we're gonna so get good. the slide, 100%. Oh, yeah. We check the barrels. Spawn the... Nope, come on, spawn the boot. And then we go all the way. Let's go. Let's go. I love the slide, it's so good. Oh, zero HP, easy. <laughs> slide into immediate zero HP boo. Let's go. They don't even get to it. do their intro text when you do them like that. It, this is the fastest boo in the game. If, if you can't tell how crazy it He's is. He's faster than Turbo. Oh yeah, this is like super Turbo. Turbo to electric boo. Uh, I think there's one in the top shelf here. Uh, nope. Boxes again. Barrels again. Oh, there wasn't one in here. I, I caught the cellar boo, that's right. I love the boo balls. This guy's just gonna evaporate when I, I can't... Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Even in, like... High level speed running, you hope to three cycle that one. That that guy is so hard to two cycle. Oh no, he's gone again. <laughs> Bonk you in the face. Whoa, it's a party. Get in the vacuum, okay. So if the if Buffon hadn't ran away, I could save and quit here to get out of the basement a little faster. But I'm gonna have to walk. Also, Egad right on cue there talking about Van Gore. Vincent Van Gore is the next portrait ghost we're going to catch. Or no, the, there's one in between, but he's the penultimate ghost. He's the second to last, and he's the one who's been painting all of the ghosts that we've been seeing into existence. All the normal ones. We're gonna pay him a visit soon. Uh, Van Gore, when Egad talks about Van Gore, it's the longest thing he can say after you fetch a boo. Do not want to see that in speedrun. Oh, that's not fun. I love that there's all these portrait ghosts that live in this one mansion, like it implies, but they're all just like one giant massive family of 
ghosts. Some of them, I think, are implied to be related, like Chauncey and... Oh, so close. All right, we're just going to have to uh, get him later. Try to do fancy strats there to do more than 150 damage, but unfortunately did not. Sometimes you also have to wonder how do these people even become ghosts in the first place. Because they're not normal boos. Mm -hmm. Well, there's the lore like, for, like, if, I hit, if you hit Z, there's actually lore for all of them. Um, so, like, Nana, I don't know if it tells you exactly why they're, like, ghosts. But, like, she's been knitting for years and years and years. And it's cute. There's also hints, I think, when you scan their hearts that uh, alludes to why they're the way they are. Like, the, for instance, the next ghost we're going to catch is a Sue P. Oh, I need water. No, I need fire first. We're good. So Sue P is the one behind this door, eventually, like, two steps behind this door. And uh, in order to get the key to this room, you have to go into the sealed room, which is over here. And the notion of why she's over here, locked behind a door with a key that's also locked behind a sealed room, like, why did she, why is she, like, that far in there? And I think it's implied that she's, like, pure evil or something and, like, cannot be contained, so they are, cannot be dealt with, so they just lock her away. Which is creepy. That's a true demon right there. So this room is really cool in PAL because there's both a fire source in here and a water source. Uh, right here. So the idea is you swap elements mid-fight. So you light the candles. These guys are now immune to fire, so I need the water now. Now, got hit for it because I couldn't get the water. And now I can remove their immunity. I think that's such a cool... That's the only room in the game where you have to do that. And I lost my water, so I need it again. Whoa. Losing a lot of health fast. Let's see if we can get all three of these shy guys. Nope. Oh, I got hit by like poison mushrooms like twice this whole time. Seen a lot of them though. Okay, so Weston, the ice ghost, or sorry, the uh, like climber, frozen climber guy that we fought in the cold storage is um... I think I don't catch this boo. I think I catch it later. He's really hard to catch in one cycle. This one's also hard. Soupy, I need water. Uh, Soupy is um, not hard on her own, but there's puppets in the corner of the room that will come and attack you, and if they hit you, you lose the suction, so you have to dodge them, and it's not easy. So I might lose the big pearl here, is what I'm saying, but we've gotten all of them so far. Hopefully we can finish with perfect 19. Yeah, that's the upside down room in the middle of the mm -hmm. entire mansion. Yeah, and it's implied she also wets the bed. Um, so you have to wake her up by um, hitting her with the water. Dodge the puppet, we're good. Okay, we should be fine now. Her name is also a pun off of uh, Soupy, sounds like sweepy, Sleepy, if you say it uh, with a little bit of an accent. And it's also a reference to the fact that she wets the bed because the word P is in there. So it's a double pun. I only realized the second part, I never got the first part. 27, let's go! It's a lot of diamonds. I think that's what we're going to finish with. I don't think there's any more in the game. I think 28 might be the limit. Oh, there's a plant here too. I'm not sure how many, uh, we'll see at the end screen, like how many gems I might have missed. But... I think we did pretty good. I think it's in the bed. This is Bunita. My favorite boo is actually the one in the uh, room to the right. There's uh, Bunita and uh, Bolivia. Yeah, they're both over here. Yeah, and it's fun to ask people, like, who's your favorite? Mine is Bolivia because when she shows up, she has the best text. All these other boos are, like, making puns when they show up, and Bolivia is just like, I'm Bolivia. I hate you. A good. Right to the point. 
No I pun, can, just I, I hate you. Ooh. It makes it sound like Luigi like committed some like crime against her in her past. Mm-hmm. She might not even need a reason. Luigi threw a, a blue shell at her at some point. Okay, so Vangor, it's this room, right? It's this room, okay. Don't open fake doors. And then it's here to the artist studio. So Vangor normally will uh, do his spiel and then he'll start spawning waves of three ghosts out of these paintings, one of like of each variety. And in other versions, it's three. In Pal, it's five. All at once. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get all of the multiples of five in one go. It's not easy. And because there's so many ghosts, you can like lose all your health extremely quickly, but you can get it back really quickly too. There's one. <laughs> Give him a little stereotypical French accent in uh -huh. his text. Keep a little... There's two. Yo, double five, let's go. Blue guys are really slow. Can get the triple five? Might lose these guys. They pull hard. Okay, we're fine. Go triple five, let's go. The shy guys, I think, are gonna be the hardest ones. This one's gonna be tough. Oh, I got it. There's the screen. Yo, the screen. So the shy guys, we have to line up before the masks come off, so... Might be a little difficult. They actually clumped really well because they're so small. Consistently getting all the eyes. Oh yeah, the green ones. I don't think you can actually reliably get all five here. I've got four. Because they don't move. You can't get them to clump. You have to kind of make your own. Oh, I slipped at the end. Isn't it also like possible to get like stung on the bananas? Just like consistently slip on them? Maybe. You're, you have iframes after you get hit. And then these guys are actually just easier to hit them with the fire, so I got four. Get this guy? Yeah. Much easier than trying to catch them all. And that's the boss fight. Vangor doesn't put up much of a fight, so his curl is usually never a problem. All 19. At least you don't have to do the mashing strat on him like you did the other one. Mm -hmm. And there's that final area key that will lead us to King Boo. We have two more boos left. There's also the statues of, like, two portrait ghosts in here, so that also implies that he made the portrait ghosts. Yep, Biff is back there, and uh, Lydia, I think. This boo has 300 HP. More. In other versions. Normally, you'd get the reward for catching all 50 boos right here, but the other guy was a pain. So I didn't get my reward yet, so I'm gonna go say a mirror warp out of here. I could have saved warped otherwise, uh, but that would reset the HP of the boo, so I'm gonna go in here. I, I don't know if Buffont went back into the pipe room or if he's in the breaker room again. So we're just gonna have to find out. Mario. Other than that, I think we've done pretty much everything. We've watered the plant. Got that gold diamond, I think. Yeah, we do. We check in here. Got the, the one red diamond that costs like nothing. Yep. One of the rarest pieces of treasure, but it's worthless. We experienced to Mr. Bones. There's our 50 HP. And our golden diamond, number two. Look at how much money we have, chat. It's so good. Gotta hit at least 150k to um, get the A rank mansion. 
I'm going to go save because I saved before I picked up that diamond, which means that the boo has been caught, but the diamond has not been grabbed. So if I die, I don't get the diamond. So we're going to go talk and to Toad one last time. it doesn't give you a chance to get it again? Nope, because the boo is gone, you cannot make it spawn again. You have to avoid saving there before, or you have to uh, go talk to Toad afterwards to guarantee that it's not going to go away again. And the final Bowser is the hardest fight in PAL, I think. It's easy, easy to die. Uh, everything does immense damage. If you get caught in the combo, it does 50, just like the icicles in cold storage. So you can just kind of get owned. Normally King Boo would stop you right about here if you didn't have enough booze, but we got them all. There's a little bit of money in the uh, secret altar here, but I don't think any of it's necessary. I'm going to pick it up for completionist's sake. There's a gem in the chandelier. And then a gold bar. And this money right there that comes out of there, those coins have a very bad habit of falling out of bounds. Right at the end of the game, of course. So if you're trying to get it all... I never even thought of that as a possibility that could happen. Now we have our final cutscene into the final fight. I'm going to try to do some fancy stuff to make it a lot easier. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to be on the struggle bus for a little bit. Because this fight gets very difficult if Bowser moves at all. Where's Bowser, you say? Well, there's Bowser. Bowser is not the real Bowser. It's King Boo Bowser's cosplaying been Bowser. Mario this whole time. The real Bowser was the friends we made along the way. The friends we sucked into the vacuum along the way. This is such a dwarf moment. There's that roof again. So the gimmick in this fight is that the spike balls that Bowser will throw sometimes just explode faster. I think it's random. It might have a pattern to it, but sometimes they just blow up too quickly and you cannot shoot him. Uh, we get around that by doing what's called an insta-shot. Normally in a speedrun that's just something to make it go faster, but in this, this version of the game they're actually very required if you don't want to die. So I'm going to try to line my Game Boy Horror up, and then get my angle right and try to do something. Ah, oh, messed it up. There's the shot, but he moved, and that's bad. So the idea is you shoot it without having him uh, bend down first. Looks like we're going to three-cycle this boss fight. Ow, and get hit, so we're already down to 56 health. And now it's off script, so he's going to start throwing spike balls if I'm a certain distance away from him. But these spike balls are not guaranteed to be, like, fine until he gets close. This one looks like a good cycle. So I can just pop him in the head not get nailed by ice balls constantly. And then you can actually do those R pumps that I've been doing on other boos. You can do that to King Boo, so I can get a little extra damage in here. Guarantee that I'll be able to knock him out with another cycle. Head on backwards because I did too much damage. I was not paying attention. So now he's going to run around. Most of these, I think, spawn poison mushrooms. If he runs into the pillars. They spawn health in other versions. So, bad cycle. Yeah, that blow blows up too quickly. So I'm going to stand just far enough away for him to throw more spike balls. The cycle is also balance. bad. If the, uh, the balls start flashing too much, I know it's going to be a bad cycle. So if I can get over here fast enough. These look good. This should be it. So time is when King Boo hits the vacuum. I love the test head. The time. All done. Let's go. We get the, the one, the second red gem, red diamond. But we still have to count the money because technically. Though the time has stopped, we don't know if we have enough money for whatever category we're doing. So if you care about money, like in 100% or max percent, you don't have to confirm it. So, so technically the run could still be invalid. 
Mm-hmm. You get the suspense waiting for Egad to shut up until you can find out if you actually did everything. How much money do we have, chat? 58 gold bars, 1100 bills, over a thousand coins. Should have more than enough, especially with all those extra diamonds. But my record was 160 million. This might be a little bit higher than that. We only missed one speedy spirit. I think we got all the rats. I can't remember. Let me see. Look up real quick exactly how much money is in this game. Total for PAL version is 186,440,000. So we'll see how close I got to that. I'm so happy I got the, uh, the Chauncey 1 cycle. I got to show that off. I'm always happy when I get that. That was, that was so cool to watch that. And like, that's still new too, apparently. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll let this slow roll. Got not a golden portrait on any of the boss ghosts. Got hit a little too much. I missed a ruby somewhere, probably. Should have been five, I think. Maybe not. 169. So we were... Surprisingly, there's still... Oh, I missed a room, though. I forgot about that room. Oh, well. Uh, but yeah, we were like 17 million off. There's still a lot of money in this game that we didn't oh, see. No. <laughs> yeah. There's you so much You didn't match your high score exactly, though. Yeah, I didn't. I, I beat it, though, so I get to see that number every time I complete a run now. And now Mario gets to be brought back into the world of the living. Send him backwards through the portrificationizer, I think it's called. Egan has the best names for stuff. Thank you for all the GGs. It was fun. Uh, the room I forgot to go into is the uh, the one that actually doesn't have anything useful into it in it, obviously. And, uh, no booze, no anything, just money. Uh, it's the second floor washroom. That one just slips my mind every time because it's it's never incorporated anywhere really. And then we have the best credits music I think I've ever heard. I don't know why they, they made it go so hard. But it's it's amazing. Put your channels in chat. And that's Luigi's Mansion Pal. I, I do have aspirations to speedrun this game. I want to get good enough at it to like submit it at some point. I think uh, anything less than like an hour and a half would be good. What do we do? 221 this time? Did a little extra stuff, but it's just fun to play. It's it's so hectic and it's difficult to but, uh, be playing a lot more of this in the future, I think. Yeah, I've only played the American version, so I might want to play this again and maybe actually eventually go finish Dark Moon in 3. Especially now that Dark Moon's coming to Switch. Yeah, the, the Dark Moon remake, I think a lot of people will find that. If you like the Dark Moon remake, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, I think, is just quite similar to it. But if any of this looked cool, I highly recommend going back and playing this game. Knowing where to go helps a lot. You can easily beat it in like three hours if you um, play it yourself and know where to go. Such a jam, though. Yeah, good song. For a game with, like, not much music, you think, well, 
What do we have the people work on? Well, naturally the credits music because there's not there's not much elsewhere. So that's why I guess it's so good. We get to see Luigi's final mansion. In all the other games, I think he's kind of altruistic and he builds he builds the house back up for the ghosts to live in or something like that. But uh, in this game, it's completely selfish. He builds his own mansion <laughs> and I think he just lives in it because he can. At least we still got a ring, let's go. In the 3DS version, there's actually yeah. a rank beyond A. Uh, there's, a there's various reasons why that's possible, because Hidden Mansion enables you to, like, get more money. Not just the way PAL does. It's, like, it's beyond that, I think. And uh, anything, like, beyond 160 million, I think, is, um, is S rank. And the mansion is even more opulent than this. That is a very opulent mansion, though, to be fair. But anyways, that's Luigi's Mansion. Spud, where can we find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Elite underscore Spud. Should be linked in the... Oh, is my cat showing up now? Perfect timing from the boy. He's here. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's sitting in the box. I'll show him. Uh, yeah, I, I stream on Twitch. Boy. All kinds of stuff, speedrunning Luigi's Mansion. I uh, apparently am pretty good at F-Zero GX now. <laughs> and uh, other stuff, RPGs, casual playthroughs. Excellent, and, uh, excellent. This big stinky boy is, oh, he really wants the box, is uh, featured quite often Look at him on go. the stream. He like a 14, 15 pound boy. Hey, big boy, big boy. The call where can we find you? Uh, you can find me online at twitch.tv and Twitter at pcall6654 or on Blue Sky at just pcall with no numbers uh, when my internet actually decides to cooperate. Yeah, that does seem to be a trend for you, unfortunately. The internet hard. Internet very hard. Well, anyways, Elite Spud, thank you again for showing off that crazy pal run. Yeah, Lots thanks. of cool stuff there that us Americans have probably not seen before. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, and then we'll go into our usual end of stream housekeeping, talk about our raid target, and I will plug myself then. So we'll see you guys all back here in just a minute or two. Thank you all for watching. All right. Thank you again, Elite Spud, for showing off Luigi's Mansion PAL version for us. Again, really fun. A lot of cool stuff that those of us on the America side of the pond have probably not seen before. So that was really cool to get to see that game in a, a bit of a different angle. I do hope everyone enjoyed this afternoon's attract mode. And again, do have the usual bit of end of show housekeeping so hear me for a few minutes and then we'll go off and raid so a little late but if you're new around the channel welcome and we'll hope you'll come back for our future streams lady arcaders is an all women's gaming collective for all girl gamers cis trans envy something else if you're a lady and you're an arcader but you're not a lady arcader we can sort that out you can find information on our public Discord, exclamation point Discord, in the chat, and on our website, ladyarcaders.com. Our next attract mode is going to be this upcoming Thursday, October the 19th, at 9 p.m. Eastern, and actually features two of my favorite people, uh, NBZ and JPEG, and we're going to be learning how to play for Warned. Now, I don't know a whole lot about about this particular game. I'm not super in tune with asymmetrical horror games, but I do know that they're both very fun people to hang out with and watch. So I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. And if you can't make it to that one, no worries. 
Attract Mode typically runs every Thursday, again, 9 p.m. Eastern, and Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern. So you can always catch us in the future at those days and times, or watch the VODs here on Twitch or over on YouTube. You can also check our schedule tab and follow all of our socials for those schedules in your local time zone. All that information and more is available, again, on the website, ladyarcaders.com. And speaking of Attract Mode, if you have a showcase in mind, head over to the website and get it in. We're always taking submissions for showcases. If it's game related, we're interested in it. And again, Halloween is going to be over soon. We'll have the winter holiday season quickly approaching. So if you have something special in mind for Christmas, Hanukkah, winter solstice, any of the other celebrations that time of the year, please go ahead and get it submitted so we can try to get it scheduled for the appropriate times. As far as I go, if you're not already following me, I get it, I understand, no big deal. But if you want to change that, I am Okapi573 here on Twitch and on Blue Sky, and at Okapi, the number 2, DX on the bird site. And of course, you can find me on both the public and private Lady Arcaders discords. And all of that said, we close the lid on the coffin of yet another Halloween attract mode. And I am going to go transform into my most terrifying form, which of course is Philadelphia Eagles fan, which that game just kicked off a few minutes ago, so I need to go get to that. But we're also going to be raiding Rasuru. Um, she is streaming Resident Evil 2, so that's going to be a fun time. I'm going to keep that open on my other monitor and kind of multitask. But that's all we have for you today. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, go birds, we'll see you in the next one.